They're going in. They're going to spend $200,000 to get about 3,800 kits. And uh, listen to the stuff they're putting out. They're, they're, the banks are turning into preppers. Uh, they've got uh, a fanny pack that's going to hold all this stuff. They've got a 2,400-calorie uh, food bar, a three-pack, an eight-ounce water, uh, 50 water purification tablets. They've got two aspirins, two ibuprofens, two decongestant tablets. I mean, you know, oh, and this, don't forget this. They've got a whistle with a lanyard. See, that's what you blow when the guy with a gun takes all that stuff from you. <laughs> because this isn't really going to do them much good. But it's pretty amazing that the bankers think that they need to send this out. And, of course, it's all going to the big seven or eight banks. These survival kits will be delivered to every major bank in the U.S., Bank of America, American Express Bank, Capital One, Citicor, J.P. Morgan, Chase, Wells Fargo, the usual suspects are all going to get uh, their survival kits. Actually, you know, it's amazing how much the CIA is like the Federal Reserve. In both cases, they appear to be under the control of the government, and yet they are the ones who are actually controlling the government. That appearance of control is merely where the facade government, the visual government, this uh, propped-up phony government has a hearing and appoints the head of the Federal Reserve or the head of the CIA. After that, there's no auditing of anything that they do. Nobody's going to go to jail, no matter what they do. Everything they do is in the dark. It's in the secret. And they're going to basically get away with everything that they've done over the last 10, 15 years. Nobody is going to go to jail. And, you know, the only person, actually, there was one person who went to jail, of course. And his name's not in the report. Uh, he was the whistleblower who blew the whistle on the torture. He went to jail. He's still in jail. And uh, nobody else is going to jail. Hey, we've seen that before, haven't we? Haven't we seen it before? I just did a uh, report, interview on Monday night, uh, talking to someone who has made the connection between the mortgage pump and dump and uh, tracking it all the way through the money being channeled through Swiss banks. Of course, we've talked in the past about whistleblowers exposing money laundering by the biggest banks, and they get a slap on the wrist fine from the Justice Department. The Justice Department says that they're too big to jail, just like they're too big to fail. But it goes beyond that. Uh, he's got some contacts and in intelligence community that say that this is uh, they're actually funding the black ops. Of course they are. They're funding CIA is funding their black ops with the drug war. We've pointed that over uh, out over and over again. Yet nothing happens to them. But in many respects, the two of them are exactly the same.